Welcome tea lovers. Um, today joining me is Emilio Del Pozo of the Jade Leaf. So Emilio, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, you're welcome. So how did you first become interested in tea? Um, well, it probably started like 15 years ago. I went to China on a trip uh, with a group from my Chinese medicine school to do some internships there. And that was in uh, Nanjing, China. And the, they had a lot of tea shops around there that everyone had like a, a bottle of tea on the street. Like people would just have like a jar, a clear glass jar with green tea leaves in it. And I, I was like, oh, that's so interesting. I want to see what that's all about. So I um, found some tea shops and just went in and they had these big green, uh, well, big clear jars full of green leaves. And then I wanted to try it. And they would like, these uh, girls there would sample the tea to you and stuff. And you could smell them in these big glass jars and it was really fragrant. And so... I thought the whole thing was really cool, and then I, just, I started drinking tea at that point. I know now you're based out of Taipei, and the Jade Thief specializes in Taiwanese teas. Um, do you have a favorite? Um, they're kind of all my favorites. That's why I, I, uh, <laughs> I offer the ones, because I've been in Taiwan for like uh, ten, almost 10 years. And so since my past experience in, in China caught me, kind of got me excited about tea, that was one of the first things I started looking for when I came to Taiwan knowing nothing about Taiwanese tea at that point. But I, I quickly um, like started finding Taiwanese tea and over time you know, started to learn about all the different kinds of Taiwanese tea, which I'm very familiar with now. And uh, so I put all my favorite teas on my website to offer them to people. Maybe I would say like for high mountain tea, I really like the Chi Lai Shan, which is, um, it's not, you probably never heard of it. A lot of people probably never heard of it, but it's in the same area as Li Shan, where, which is really famous. Or it's in the same area as Da Yulin or Hu Shou Shan is another mountain in that area. They're actually kind of on the same mountain, just like different areas around that that mountain. So the teas, it's all really good in that area. So that's one of my favorite for high mountain tea. Also got this, uh, the Hong, Hong Shui Oolong is really good if you like a more roasted tea. And then um, I, I also really love the uh, um, Red Jade, the, the number 18, and the Shan Cha, two black teas that I have are also like just really good. So those are probably my favorite, favorite favorites out of all of them. Definitely. I had your Red Jade the other day and it was awesome. <laughs> What, what did you think of the flavor like? What, what it tastes like to you? It's definitely really interesting. I've had a lot of like number 18s before, mm -hmm. but it had like a really interesting spice to it that like at the end um, that I thought was really, really nice. Cool. One of the things I like about it is uh, for, for me, I noticed the fruitiness of it. Because like in Taiwan, kind of the standard for number 18 is that it's, uh, they always say it's like minty and it has like a cinnamon taste. And, but for me, like um, that red jade, I really like the, it's kind of like fruity, almost like a little bit like berry to me. And that's what I really think is unique about it. Definitely. And what, so when you're sourcing tea, what qualities do you look for? Well, I just look for, I mean, number one is the tea's got to be good. Like <laughs> uh, for, um, especially after being in Taiwan for such a long time, I think I've become really picky and also I, I kind of know all the different levels of tea and I, I always look for like, I mean, recently I've been trying to find teas that are of, at a lower price point, but still really good. But most of what I have right now is, uh, is just like, it's pretty, it's just really good quality tea. And I also care about the people that I get it from. Like I, it just ends up for me that the people that have good tea, they're just really cool people. And I really enjoy buying tea from them. And I think they really enjoy selling tea to me as well. So that, that's another thing that just happens to be part of it that I really like as well. Because Taiwanese people are really great. And so that's something I really like about having a business here, working with the local farmers. It's great. I definitely find that tea people tend to be just really awesome people. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Um, and so in addition to your tea, I've been a really big fan of your teaware for some time. Um, so what's your process like when you're making new pieces? 
Well, I usually, I, cause I've, I've only been doing pottery about four years. And so I think I'm still kind of exploring like uh, different, especially recently I've been exploring textures. Like I've been doing, adding some texture on my pots. And I think every time I go, cause usually, recently I've been doing a lot of wood firing, but that's like a really big process. And it takes a lot of time to prepare the work for the, that kiln and then to get the kiln ready and get all the, the um, pieces ready for that. But I think each time I do something a little bit different. Like last time I did a lot of uh, textured teapots and this time I, I'm preparing a lot of uh, like kettles and stoves and I'm trying that as a new thing. So I'm all, I always add something new, but always make teaware. Very cool. I know I, I especially really liked your um, teapots that have the wooden handles. Um, I thought that was like a really interesting combination of materials. Yeah, I, I have a friend in Taiwan. He's called Peter Guo. He's, he's kind of known, I think, in the States. I, people, some people are, are starting to hear about him. And he's, he's really good at both wood firing and he does a lot of those wood handle teapots. And I think they're really popular and I kind of because I, I um, have done some wood firing with him and I hang out with him sometimes, so I'm probably influenced by him a little. I actually just recently um, did this this pot. It's probably a little bit of a glare here, I don't know. It has a, a side handle and you probably can't really, there's this, the texture on it too, it might be really hard to see, but um, this is actually a really big one. It's like 300 milliliters but I know people are asking me for those so I'm starting to make some <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for joining me today yeah sure um, my pleasure thank you too if you're a fan of Taiwanese tea I highly suggest checking out what the jade leaf has to offer you could find their teas at the jade um, and I definitely suggest checking him out on Instagram under the same name um, so that you can see all of the beautiful teaware that Emilio makes thank you for watching